people come to Bowser Training Eco the Solution. If you want the best mock, mock interview experience in North America, feel free to check us out at bowsertraining.org. Moreover, if you would like to receive the latest interview news, feel free to subscribe to our WeChat blog right here. So today we are going to talk about this problem called the zigzag conversion. Essentially, it, <coughs> it gives you a string, so they want you to write it into a zigzag fashion. And uh, for example, like PayPal is hiring, so if they give you the row number is three, so that means three rows, and then you have to print out like a pay, and then PAL is hiring like this. So uh, at a first glance, this looks like a uh, kind of a simulation problem. What we, we can do is we just keep a array list of three rows, and then we'll just keep zigzagging it. And uh, another way to solve to solve this is more uh, mathematical, like you have to calculate, okay, so if your first string is P, so when you print out this way, so what would be the next uh, next character, so you have more, it's more, it should be more like, uh, you know, one, two, three, four, because it's another A. It's kind of like a, kind of a boring math problem. So let's, for coding practice, I think let's just uh, implement the uh, straightforward method. All right, let's go. <clears throat> so if it's only one character, so the rows, so you can just directly return. Because if it's only one character, you can't really do anything, it has to be the cells. Or less than two, so it means if the row is one, one row, you don't need to do anything, it's just itself, zero rows. I don't really know what that means, so, okay. <clears throat> Builder. And then here we want to have a list of So we indicate whether it's going down or going up, and then we have the index. So now what we're going to do here is going down what we need to do is we need to check the index so what would be the index so if the index equals to for example this is a three so s dot length n rows if it equals to n rows minus one just going down you know, no matter what, all we need to do is we'll have the 
list dot get current index dot pen c and now what we have is then we'll do a index this is the current index now we need to figure out the next index if it's going down and the index equals to already equals to the last one so then index will will need to be so next time the index will be in minus two else Right, and then if it's going up and if index equals to zero now going down equals to true and then my index next index equals to index plus one. Or if it's going up, let me see. So if it's going down, else is going up, not equal to zero, and then index just keeps. It's just equal to one. That's it. And now, if this looks correct, all we need to do is for each of the Out dots and each of these two string, right? And then we will return out dot to string. So let's check this out, okay. So first we do some validation, looks correct, have a list going down equals to true, first index equals to zero. So this will just keep iterate through the charts. So first of all we'll append this chart to the current list and then we check if it's going down or going up if it's going down. Normally you just index plus plus. And uh, unless you are already hit the last row and then you are you should start from the next one and going down set it to false. Right, or else if you're going up, if you're going up, unless you're, if you're not hitting zero, just in decreasing the index, or else it will hit zero and then the next index will be one. So this is just a pending. So let's run this example. PayPal is a hiring. So pay going down, increased index, right? Increase the index now is equals to, because row equals to three minus one equals to two. And now you have to set it to 3 minus 2, which is 1 here. And then going up, increase. Whenever you increase it, you equals to, uh, sorry, decrease, and then it's 0, 0, and then you have to reset to 1. I think it looks correct. Let's submit, submit it. And uh, number of rows, OK. Index out of bound exception AB 
and the two rows that should be just A and B. Line 14. Line 14, index 0, size is 0. I think so. At first, let's just run this example A and B, right? A, B. So the length is 2. So at first, we set the char as 0, A, and then index is is zero x out of bound exception I never initialized this guy huh Yes, so I forgot to initialize this guy. So basically, whenever you get get something, it will be it will be a non-pointer exception. So, all right. So with this implementation, the time complexity because we only iterate through only once, so that will be U n, and then because we um, uh, we use extra space like this list of stream builder, so that will be a O n time complexity as well. All right. Thank you very much for watching.